Welcome to Land the House, I'm Seth. This is a ram pump, actually it's two ram pumps. It's a water pump that can push water uphill without fuel or electricity, just flowing and falling water. In a previous test, I installed these two in parallel to see if the volume output would double with two pumps. In this video, I want to see what happens if you turn one pump on and measure how high it can lift to, turn the second one on and see if it will increase the lift potential by using the two pumps. So let me show you the setup real quick and we will get this test underway. Normally you would run your ram pump in a creek or small river. In this case I've got a five gallon bucket with garden hose and a float valve and that will supply the water for this test. So that right there is about one foot of head pressure. I've got two half inch PVC pipes coming down as the drive pipes. And then it's gonna drop about three feet, so the total drop is around four feet, including that one foot of hydrostatic pressure in the bucket. So I'm gonna turn on one pump and let it cycle through in this garden hose, which I've got 200 feet of. It circles way up around here, goes around the house, and up the hill over here. So hopefully that's enough lift that we'll have a point in there where the water stops going any higher. And then we'll turn the other one on and we'll know if it increases the height. Let's go ahead and get this test underway. So I'm gonna leave this side off over here, turn this one on. I've already got some water in the delivery pipe, so I need to cycle this until the pump starts working on its own, which means it has to put water into the delivery pipe. Something called back pressure. So without pressure pushing down on this tank, the pump won't cycle on its own. This can take a little while, so. I'll be right back. And the first pump is cycling on its own, as you can see here. And that means there's now enough water weight in this garden hose to keep back pressure on the pump. So what we want to do is walk the hose up and see at the point where the water stops flowing. Now, if it continues to flow all the way out the very top up there, I've got another what, uh, 50 feet or so of hose, we can hopefully find an even higher position. The ram pump is way down the hill over there next to the road. And uh, I'm guessing this is somewhere around 35 to 40 feet of lift. And I don't think the pump can make it all the way to the top, but it is about right up. Oh, nope, never mind. It just made it out. <laughs> so uh, I guess that means we need to lift a little bit higher because that right there is still a decent flow rate up here at the top. So I have got another, I don't know, 50 foot of hose or so, but I'm almost out of hill to be honest. Man, <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't make it up here. Yeah, sometimes the ram pump even impresses me. I did not think we were gonna make it up here. So I guess what I could do for this test is drag the pump back up the hill a little bit and that would reduce the input head pressure and it would hopefully not make it up here anymore. So I think what I'm gonna do is set the pump on something and that will reduce the pressure and hopefully it'll stop up here. So let's try that real quick. I think at this point the best thing to do is to close this off and just drag the whole system up the hill and that will hopefully reduce it by about a foot or so. So if we go to about maybe right here, I think that's about a foot of drop there. So let's try that. Okay, I think that'll do it. That's probably about a foot. So I just dragged it back up the hill a little. We gained some here and lost a good bit here. So let's go ahead and give it a try and we'll go see if it's still making it up the top. Nope, not yet. We still have flow up here at the top, so I'm gonna have to go reduce that some more. Oftentimes in my videos, people say, why do you sound out of breath? Well, one reason is because I climbed 40 foot hills 15 times in 20 minutes. <laughs> but anyway, maybe I should give myself some more break between climbing so my voice doesn't sound all like exhausted. I pulled the pump up some more, put those little two and a half inch couplings underneath. So hopefully now we don't have as much head pressure. Let's go up here and do the test again. 
Darn it. Still pumping up here. Okay, uh, this is getting ridiculous. Let me go drop this down even more. Basically, I want a flat bucket. <laughs> anyway, adding this little box under here wasn't enough with these couplings. So now I'm gonna add this six inch pipe. And to be honest, we've got like two feet of head pressure now. The pump should barely even work. As I walk this hill again and again and again, um, if you need a pre-assembled ram pump, I have them for sale at landahouse.com, Amazon, and eBay. Links in the description down below. Normally the ratio of input head pressure to lift is one to seven, but today it's like one to 40. So if you want to pump water to a thousand feet, you just need a couple feet of input head pressure. <laughs> now, anyway, let's go up here and see if the water has finally stopped. I'm not sure you can see the pump very well, but right between here at the road is where the pump is. And this is where we are going to. I know the camera flattens everything out, but we are still getting a trickle up here, which is cool, but frustrating for the test. So I'm just gonna consider this right here good enough. Let's turn on the other pump. Well, let's take a flow rate in one minute and then we'll turn on the other pump and see if it's doing better. Because of the slowness here, I think I'm gonna just do 30 seconds on the timer, and that way we won't be sitting here forever. I'm a little bit concerned about my storage tanks running out since the other ram pump is turned off today. So 30 seconds on the timer, and go. Okay, and there's our 30 second mark. Looks like we've got four ounces, which is a half cup, or for you uh, metric people, that is not on the chart yet. So you'll have to do your own conversion. All right, let's go down to the pump, turn on the second one, and see how much this increases. And although it's not giving us the lift test that we were wanting, it at least will give us more confirmation on the previous video which is that it almost doubles your output whenever you use two pumps in parallel. Now the question was asked, what happens if you just step up the size of the pump? Excellent question. That's exactly what I would do if you have sufficient water. The only reason I could really think of that you would use two parallel small pumps instead of one big pump is if your water is seasonal. So a single half inch pump is gonna consume about two gallons per minute roughly uh, a little bit less than that and so if you only had that two gallons in the summertime but in the winter time you had four six gallons you know you could turn on the second pump and uh, not worry about having to swap out drive pipes and pumps you could just turn on another one so okay so here's the deal we're going to turn on the second pump and hopefully they will work together just like that now this one doesn't cycle as hard because of the 90 that's up here in the drive pipe. I didn't have the fittings to do any better than that. Uh, so it's not as good, but now let's walk back up here again and see if our output is better than a half gallon in a half a minute. <laughs> no, <laughs> whoops. Let's see if our output is better than uh, four ounces in 30 seconds. Man, if we were getting a half gallon in 30 seconds from a half inch pump, it'd be pretty impressive. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got in 30 seconds again with two pumps running. Okay, let's see what our results are. Uh, slightly better than a half, but not by much. So I guess that's kind of conclusive that at this height, it's not increasing like it was previously at the lower value. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe it's just reaching its max and it's not going to increase the flow rate out. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I don't really wanna walk back down that hill, but I have to do it a couple more times. So here's what I think is happening. The pump that we turned on second 
is uh, not working as efficient as the one that we turned on first because of that 90. So I'm guessing somewhere up this pipe, the water is going to stop with that second pump, which means we're basically just using the one pump still all the way to the top. So to test that, let me turn off the original pump and leave on the second one to see if the water stops coming out up here. I think it's going to. Should be a fun little experiment. Okay, turning off the original pump. So we're just working with the secondary one. Let's go see if the water is still coming out up here or if it has stopped somewhere in the pipe. Just as I suspected, with that one pump going that is less efficient, the water has stopped. So somewhere in that pipe, at some point, it couldn't lift any higher and that's where it stopped. So now we know why the output wasn't increased because the head pressure going to that pump plus the inefficiency of that 90 has prevented the water from getting up here and so it was unable to add height to the uh, system. So I think that pretty well concludes that we are not able to get any higher lift off of adding another pump. Oh. So what are some things you can do to add the height to your system? The number one is to increase your head pressure. As you saw, I had to come up another two feet to get this to slow down. And so if you were to add more head pressure, then you would have higher lift potential. Now what if you have to go really long in your creek to get that extra head pressure? You can install a standpipe with supply line and that will bring the source closer to the pump and yet still let you have more head pressure by going further up the creek. Uh, another thing you can do is to add a, a one line, an inline valve to your delivery pipe. Basically, it works kind of like a giraffe's neck. So in a giraffe, as the heart pumps, the blood is pushed up through valves and then sits for a second before the heart pumps again and pushes up to the next stage. So with the ram pump, it's kind of the same deal. You can put a non-return valve in the delivery somewhere, you know, 10, 15 feet up from the pump. So as the pump cycles, it'll push water into that valve the water will rest on that, which kind of takes some of the pressure away from the pump, and you can lift a little higher. Not much, but some. Um, but anyway, I feel like this test concludes that adding more pumps, you're still going to pump to the same height. So that was the results that I anticipated, and I think is uh, pretty well concluded out of this test. Well, I'm going to pack all this stuff up and film some more videos. If you've enjoyed this one, please uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, leave me a comment. I get thousands of comments a week and I can't respond to all of them, but I enjoy reading what you write. So definitely uh, give me a good message down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.